Okay, I want to do a few of these quick uh, review videos. Sometimes these are just going to be posted as an outside of class resource, and sometimes they're going to be used if we have a review day. Thursday is going to be a review day for most classes, so I'll actually view this in class. Um, but for the rest of you, it is posted publicly to Neewame Tube, so you're going to go ahead and check me out there uh, in the vlogs. So what we're looking at today, the um, exit slip from Tuesday. You were asked, what happens since sunlight is required for photosynthesis, what happens with plants at night? Uh, exit slips were pretty good. Wanted to go ahead and go through a few of the answers just kind of at random to give you an idea of if your answer might be a uh, five, a six, or a seven on our eight point grading scale. Um, I don't think anybody got an eight, but that's okay. Don't be discouraged by that. Um, so I got one here. The plant might die and need carbon dioxide. Okay, so um, it's probably not gonna die just in an overnight, but that's uh, definitely thinking. And the carbon dioxide is something that's gonna help the plant to survive. Plants breathe carbon dioxide the same way humans breathe um, oxygen. So, um, got one more here. They could be absorbing some light off the moon. Okay, so that's definitely thinking outside the box. I think I gave an answer like that a six um, because you're actually considering things, but keep in mind that the moon isn't actually a natural light source. It just reflects the sunlight back at Earth. So that's a, that's a six. You're starting to think outside the box. Um, let's see, sorry, not that one. Um, the plant rests. For that one, I thought that was a strong answer as well. That was kind of in a six range. Um, let me find one to five here real quick. Um, you would need water to stay alive and in the morning just put it in a window. That's one that's probably more of a five, kind of not really uh, thinking so strong about how the sunlight is affecting it. I, I understand how like, oh, put it in a window is kind of saying get some sunlight on it. Um, but that's not quite on track. Um, it does not grow at night because the plant needs sunlight. That's perfect. That's exactly, that's a seven. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, it's something you want to keep in mind because that is the type of answer we're looking for on the slow. And we're going to be taking a look at a midterm slow probably this coming Monday. Um, so let's see if I got one more that would be in the five range. At night, plants grow a little bit. Then when the sun rises, they get more sunlight and they grow uh, little by little. That's a pretty good answer too. They, they will still have a little bit of energy. They're making some sugars, but they're not actually going to grow full on. So that's going to be a six slash seven answer right there. These are from all four classes. Um, a lot of answers are really similar. Don't get discouraged if I read your answer. Don't get discouraged if I didn't read your answer. Uh, everybody did a nice job on this assignment. If you didn't turn one in at all, you got a four because um, it it's out of eight. You got 50%. You were in class. I know that you knew the materials. You just didn't actually participate in trash kit ball. So that's just kind of uh, choosing not to participate. I'm not going to give you a zero for that. Okay, so that kind of gives you some review. Again, plants do not make food at night because they need sunlight for photosynthesis. Um, but they do, you know, when they go dormant, like flowers will close up at night. Um, they, they don't die. That's kind of the key there.